Hello and welcome to your May mid-month development update. Now today we've got Nigel and Kevin as we prepare for the Basil Hard Fork. Now of course we hope you've been enjoying some of the new weekly videos the team has been putting out but this of course is where we give you the latest and the focus on all the development efforts that the team is making. Now before we begin be sure to click the like, the bell and subscribe. Let's dive straight in. So Nigel What's been happening this month and how are we doing on the road to the 29th of June? Well, we're all guns blazing for the Vassal Hard Fork, Tim. And um, right now we're preparing for our closed public testnet phase. So this is a network like any other network. We put all our Vassal features into a, a controlled environment and we open up a network with a small group of SPOs who are helping us to test the network initially. We do our initial sort of network tests and then as we move from there, we can then do further regression tests and move into testing the, the new functionality. And this will run until we get to the point where we can hard fork the Cardano testnet. Along with our SPO colleagues, we have a DAP projects that are helping us running applications on the mainnet and on the testnet. And they really help us to basically test regressions of what they're using in our infrastructure. And they're also then designing new tests for the new functionality um, that they can take uh, advantage of once we've actually gone past the hard fork. Not only this, all the usual infrastructure project products are coming online. So all the familiar names, DV Sync, uh, Rosetta, GraphQL, Explorer, all these products needs to be updated. And they are coming out of their integration phase. And we're now into this process where we can actually start regression testing against these different products. Once we get past this stage, we've got all the basic infrastructure into place. That's when exchanges come online and they can then test their integrations that are so important for us to actually continue to run uh, Cardano as it is today. By the end of May, we should be in a position to be able to hard fork the Cardano test there, and that's what's on our plan at the moment. And at the moment, we are on track for that. So Nigel, that's great news. Now, uh, what exactly will the developers be able to do when the testnet uh, goes live? Tell us a little bit more about what they can expect to see. So as we move into this final test phase, which is in the Cardano testnet, as we've done many times before, this is the real critical phase when we've got absolutely everything lined up. We've got all the products, we've got the infrastructure in place. We've uh, done some initial testing with the dApps. We've got all the exchanges online. And this is the, the, the critical phase where we, uh, we may find um, some problems or issues that we need to resolve during that period. Um, it is development at the end of the day. We can't perfectly guarantee exactly what's going to happen. But with our experience to date, we're 100 percent on track. Brilliant. Nigel, thank you. Now, of course, alongside the, uh, the Vassal hard fork, there's also other work which isn't necessarily dependent on that hard fork, but is aligned with it. And that's diffusion pipelining, of course. Kevin, can you give us an update on where we are with that? Yes, absolutely, Tim. So the team has been working uh, really well on this. We're expecting to release pipelining alongside the Vassal hard fork and we're in the final stages of testing right now with some very positive uh, benchmarking results. So we will expect SPOC uh, performance improvements out of the gate, but we are still working on the implementation. We will release the benefits uh, over a period of time. So there will be more to come later. This is going to give us a foundation to continue scaling as we speed up block diffusion and will allow us to increase uh, throughput, of course, without compromising on security, which is absolutely imperative to what we're doing. So how is the network performing at the moment? It's doing great, Tim. So network synchronization is showing at um, greater than 98%. Uh, propagation delays, uh, when I checked, are less than half a second generally across the network. And 74% um, of SPOs are running the current latest version of the uh, node 1.34.1. But we still have some, about 17%, still running on 133.0. So we'd encourage those SPOs uh, to update to 134.1 now to 135 uh, as soon as we release it in the next week or so. So that's going to pave the way for the Vassal hard fork. And of course, Kevin, there's also a little bit of work that the SPOs need to be doing as well around Basel. So the SPOs, as usual, of course, they're going to have to upgrade their nodes ready for the hard fork term. Uh, but in addition, this time they will need to uh, check their scripts. We're sending out instructions on exactly what they need to do. They, they may need to make a few uh, tweaks to some of the scripts that they're running in order to work beyond the Basel hard fork. 
thank you for that, Kevin. Of course, a lot of work going on towards VASL and around diffusion pipelining. But uh, Nigel, that's not all we're working on. Lots of other things. Uh, anything else you want to share before we go? Just a couple of updates, Tim. <clears throat> Peer-to-peer and Mithril. Peer-to-peer has been in development for a considerable length of time. We're all really excited about getting this out. It's going to be a very powerful part of Cardano's decentralization. In addition to this, we have Mithril in research and development. This is going to enable people to sync faster to the network. It's another exciting development, but I won't say much more because I know that we'll be having an update on that soon from the team. Thank you very much, Nigel. Yes, indeed, we will. As part of our regular video series, we'll be soon sharing an update to tell you all about Mithril, what it means and why it matters. So make sure you like, subscribe and hit that bell so that that video hits your alerts as soon as it's available. That's it for this mid-month update. We'll see you at the end of the month, the last Thursday of the month for Cardano 360. Thanks a lot.